Well, good morning. Uh, I'm Councilman Al Austin, and I want to welcome everybody this morning, uh, particularly those who are watching at home. We are here uh, coming to you from Virginia Village, which is uh, the 53rd 300 block of uh, Long Beach Boulevard. Uh, for those of you viewing at home uh, for this grand opening, we welcome you as well. I'm pleased to be joined by some of our city team here who made this possible, as well as local business and local artists in celebration of this grand occasion. Today um, is, a, is a milestone as we uh, have the grand opening for this new public parking lot here in Virginia Village. Virginia Village really has a very rich history uh, as part of the city of Long Beach, dating, dating back to the early 1900s. And it was an independent, thriving community known as Virginia City. With Long Beach's oil boom in the 1920s, Virginia City became home to many oil field workers, replacing dairies, farms, that were here before, prior to. Virginia City was incorporated into Long Beach in 1924. And to honor that history, we now call this area of the city and this corridor Virginia Village. Now, since I took office eight years ago, we've been working with the local business owners on branding this corridor and investing in improvements. We have new businesses and new energy that are helping this corridor thrive and succeed today. I've heard from many local business owners who are having trouble providing parking for their customers, given the historic na uh, nature of the storefronts that we have here in Virginia Village. So I asked our economic development team if we could utilize former redevelopment agency property that was va a vacant lot, this area, uh, that had soil contamination to create some additional parking for local businesses. And John Keisler, the Director of Economic Development, and Sergio Ramirez and their team got to work to make it happen. We walked this corridor with the Economic Development team, identifying how the city can continue to support our local businesses and make improvements along this corridor that makes sense for not only the businesses, but also the entire community. I'd especially like to recognize Jose Fierros, who is the project manager in the Economic Development Park uh, Department for, for his work, his dedicated work to make that happen. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Jose. And to our Public Works Department, who will be managing this along with other, many other city parking lots. And we have somebody, uh, April Walker, from Public Works here as well. You'll hear from her. This new parking lot represents more than nine, just more than, uh, more than just 19 new parking spots here in Virginia Village. This community of small businesses is on the cusp of thriving and becoming an economic success here in Long Beach. We have some new Virginia Village businesses represented here today, including Black Rim Coffee, Agua's Way, Faux Daily, and, and Party Pops that just recently opened up just next door. And tomorrow's city council meeting, we'll be voting on the final approval for two new housing developments just up the street. These two projects by City Ventures will build 56 new for sale townhomes that will be the next step in transforming this Virginia Village corridor. We also have Guillermo Avalos here, a local artist who lives in North Long Beach and painted this beautiful mural behind me called Celestial, Celestial Butterfly, excuse me. The mural was actually painted two years ago with the support of local residents in the Adams Art Projects in Puente. And so I want to make sure that those residents get their due credit for their efforts to bring this mural to uh, Virginia Village. It was really a grassroots effort. And today, we are excited to announce, with the efforts of the, our Economic Development Department, the building owners across the street at 53rd Street from this parking lot have also agreed to a beautiful new mural. My office will be commissioning uh, Mr. Uh, Avalos and sponsoring uh, a new mural to accompany this one just across the street. And so this will make this area um, really, really dynamic. So today we celebrate not just a new public parking lot, but the continuation of an economic transformation here in the Virginia Village area. I want to thank each and every one of you, our city staff, 
but most importantly, those in our community who have come to me, our local small businesses, um, for, for all the work that you have put in, the input that you have put in to make today possible. And so I'd like to introduce now uh, Sergio Ramirez to come up and to, um, he's the deputy director of our economic development department. I want to give him an opportunity to say a few words about the department's work. Thank you very much. Come on up, Sergio. Thank you, Council Member Austin. On behalf of the City of Long Beach, our City Management, City Manager Tom Modica, Assistant City Manager Linda Tatum, the entire Economic Development Department, we'd like to congratulate you and the Virginia Village business community for this accomplishment. We hope you're happy with the end result. I, I do have to take this opportunity to thank people that have made this project a reality. Um, our Economic Development Director, John Keisler, Project Manager, Jose Fierros, Project Oversight, Mary Torres, General Contractor, Juan Solario, Property Management, Overland Pacific Cutler, and our partner city departments, Public Works and Development Services. And as Council Member Austin mentioned, he challenged us several months ago with the, the, the need for parking in this business corridor. And of course, with COVID-19, which was unprecedented, thanks to his leadership, we persevered because he was persevering. <laughs> This parking lot will have incredible impact for the business community here in Virginia Village. And the, the effects and the results are going to come over the next few years. And as Council Member Austin mentioned, City Ventures, a new residential development, will also be developed here, hopefully breaking ground closer to the end of the year, just down the street on Long Beach Boulevard. And our Development Services Department will be rolling out the next phase of the Uptown specific plan, which will provide business owners and property owners with flexibility for their uses and properties. And of course, economic development with the revenue that will be generated from this parking lot will help bring further enhancements to Virginia Village. So the, this is only the beginning and continued improvement. We'd like to thank you for allowing economic development to play a small part in this important project. Thank you. Next, we will have April Walker join us from our Public Works Department. Welcome, April. Good afternoon, everybody. It's really exciting to be here. I'm so happy that our director, uh, Eric Lopez of Public Works, asked me to represent him and our department here today. Um, as a community projects officer for Public Works, I oversee citywide parking operations, and uh, most of our assets are located in the downtown and beach areas, and so it's really exciting to see the innovative use of land in um, Virginia Village to really activate and enhance the business corridor. And, you know, parking is really kind of an afterthought in a lot of um, what we do day to day. Uh, unless you're really ingrained in parking operations, you don't really understand the impact that it has, but it is really a quality of life um, infrastructure piece. And so when I look at the great work that Jose and the economic development team did um, at the leadership of our councilman, Austin, I see that there's no detail left undone. Um, this is just, you know, a parking nerd observation, but from everything from the landscape to the lighting to the asphalt and the striping, it's really, really um, a huge huge benefit to the city and you know one of my passions is uh, public art and art in the right of way so seeing Guillermo's art piece that's here coupled with our infrastructure and what's to come is very exciting and so you know as a public works employee and a team member of this beautiful city we're really um, invested in making sure that this space stays as beautiful as you see it today from now on and so we will be maintaining and operating with our partner um, vendor Laz Parking. Um, Councilman Austin is uh, offering 90 days at least of free parking. So this is a really great asset for, for people to get used to in this area. And moving forward, the revenue that's generated here does not go back just to 
you know, city coffers. We really, and this is what we do in other areas of the city, we take it and we reinvest it back into the business corridor. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to seeing what additional um, amenities we're going to be able to provide as part of this um, beyond just a parking opportunity. So. Thank you, Councilman Austin, for including this in your great work, and we're looking forward to working with the community of Virginia Village moving forward. Thank you. So next up, we will have our muralist, uh, Mr. Uh, Guillermo Avalos, uh, say a few words. Come forward. Welcome, Guillermo. Thank you, Councilman Al Austin. I appreciate you uh, inviting me over to this uh, great project you guys have back. Oh, yes. Um, first of all, I'd like to say thank, thank you, everyone, for inviting me to be part of this. Uh, two years ago, we worked on, on this bureau with the uh, Neighborhood Association and uh, with the Adams Art Project and Puente uh, from, from this area. I'm an, I live here in North Long Beach. Uh, I was asked to see if I could do something on this wall uh, two years ago due to some graffiti problems that they were having, but I would never have imagined that uh, this great project that you guys have put together uh, really compliments my mural. Um, I really want to thank uh, <clears throat> Jose Fierros uh, and Sergio Ramirez for uh, uh, reminding me about this project. I, uh, eight years ago, uh, designed the actual seal for Virginia Village. So it's kind of funny how eight, uh, eight years later, I mean, six years later, I was asked to do a mural here, which would happen to be my 53rd mural. Uh, and it happens to be on 53rd Street. So for some funny situation, things kind of uh, worked out for the best. Uh, but I specifically want to thank all the uh, uh, community members, the, uh, also the children from this neighborhood, and all the participants who worked on this project, specifically my, uh, my mentees, uh, the artists that I work with, uh, uh, artists like Hugo Lomelli, uh, Nisa Alvera, uh, Tracy Negrete, and um, all the great individuals who came out on one Saturday um, to start on this project. And, um, and once again, thank you for being part of, inviting me over to be part of this magnificent project you guys put together. Thank you. I wanna thank you. Um, Mr. Avalos, um, he is a, a true piece of history here in, along this corridor. As he mentioned, if you look at the, the beautiful light treatments that we have, the light fixtures, there's a, there's a design. It says Virginia Village on each and every one of them. And he was the artist who actually designed that. that. And so uh, we really want to thank you for your contributions to the city for this particular area. Uh, and, and really helping to brand and, and make uh, Virginia Village a, 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 a area that's gonna thrive for many, many years to come. So next up, we have um, one of our business owners, our small business owners, who, who really took a chance and said, hey, I wanna invest in, in this area when there was nothing here. Um, when, when we recently had redevelopment properties uh, sold and, and, and uh, renovated, uh, she and her husband, her partner said, hey, you know, we want to invest into a coffee shop, something that was desperately needed in this particular area. Um, there had been no, no place to sit down, no place to get coffee. Um, and so that, that had been a dream of mine as well. Like, I would love to see a coffee shop in the Virginia Village area. And so uh, Juliet and, and Trevor came and visited me one day and they had this concept and I was immediately uh, enthralled and on board with it. Uh, and today uh, they are, what, three, four years later? Three years later, um, a thriving business and, and part of the character of this great community. I want to invite up uh, Juliet Simpson, Simpkins from um, Black Green Coffee. Thank you very much. Thank you, Al. Um, 
Thank you so much for doing this parking lot. It has been, I don't have makeup on. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave my mask on. So sorry about that guys. Uh, <laughs> Um, thank you so much for doing this parking lot. We have very limited parking out here on the street, uh, which is what I rely on for my business. And this parking lot is not only beautiful, uh, it also is going to help us bring in more customers to this area and make people come stay and see the other wonderful shops in the area. Uh, since the get-go, Al has been nothing but supportive of us. And anytime we have uh, an issue, a query, anything. He has always helped us, uh, always tried to find a solution and uh, always been supportive of our business and every other business in the district. So thank you, Al, and everyone for doing all of this. So those of you walking, watching at home, let's give uh, Juliet Simpkins a big round of applause. And and uh, please, uh, when you get an opportunity, support Black Ring Coffee. They are an amazing business, uh, and they have great coffee, I will just say. Some of the best in the city. Uh, next up, we have uh, Mr. Leo Sandoval. And Leo is, uh, is, is a small business owner, somebody who is invested in this community in many ways. Uh, he is a resident who lives you know, within walking distance of this parking lot. Uh, he invested into a small business uh, and brought his design business here as well. And so um, he is a stakeholder, a business uh, owner, a community resident, uh, but uh, a great, great individual, somebody who believes in Long Beach and believes in, in North Long Beach in particularly. And I want to just uh, give him an opportunity to say a few words. Uh, welcome, Leo Sandoval. Thank you. From Agua's Way, by the way. You have to go and visit Agua's Way. They have the best wa uh, um, water, as well as uh, some amazing food here in North Long Beach. Hello, everybody. Thank you for the invitation today. I just want to thank Al and his team, the whole city of Long Beach, for um, this wonderful parking lot you guys put together. It used to be a nice over here looking at the dirt, rocks, chain link fences. Now it's come together, it's made this whole block, this whole corridor, you know, up and live. So I can't thank him enough, thank him for all the work he's done. Juliet said it better, he's done everything for us. If we have an issue, he's, we have an issue, then he'll try to solve it. He'll figure out a way. So thank you, thank City of Long Beach again, and thank you guys. So I appreciate those uh, comments. Uh, we want to make sure that we in, um, invited some of our small businesses. I know we have others uh, represented. So those long-term stakeholders in the community, folks who have, have uh, endured um, redevelopment changes, who have redured, endured um, ups and downs in the market, uh, and that, that are still with us here uh, today. And so we, we salute our new businesses here in Virginia Village. Uh, we welcome the new business uh, presence here in Virginia Village, uh, but we also salute those who have uh, been with this this community and have not given up on this community uh, for many years. And I will just say, as I um, close this portion, the best for Virginia for Virginia Village is be the, is still yet to come. So the best is still yet to come. We're still going to work, uh, and um, this parking lot I think is going to be a a um, a magnet uh, and and an, a a a source of, of uh, energy for, for this community that will, will help businesses and community for many years to come. And so very proud of this work. And so if everybody will, will please uh, don their mask, um, we are going to uh, cut the ribbon. Three, two, one, set. Yeah.